Today, thankfully, we saw the interception carried out peacefully, and it was clear the difference between nonviolent protesters whose right to peaceful protest we respect and between last week's hardcore radical Islamists who chose the path of violence. We must continue to inspect cargo bound for the Gaza Strip in order to prevent deadly rockets and missiles reaching the people of Israel. This action, a stupid, uh, grave mistake that the Israelis are committing today, is repeating uh, to the same act of piracy against the high seas. It is something considered a crime against the humanity, and it, the, these things shouldn't be done again after all these kind of uh, criticism and condemnation from all over the world to Israel. Again, they repeat the mistake, uh, now the time for action. Uh, from the world community to punish Israel for insisting uh, and determination in intercept ships on the high seas. Well, this is yet another chapter of the uh, piracy that uh, Israel is conducting in the high seas. This is uh, another ass uh, assertion that Israel uh, behaves as a country above the law. They, are, they don't feel that they are accountable to anything. They, therefore, they can do anything they want. So that was good. So see, it, it was true. They, they... I've been outraged since the moment that they killed nine of our people and, and, and wounded so many people back on Monday. Now they've taken the Rachel Corey. They, they have no reason, they have no excuse to do any of this. They have no excuse. They are the illegal entities. They're the ones that are holding this blockade. ...boarded the Rachel Corey with permission of the crew. But, of course, the Perdana Peace Organization, hopefully they're not going to be here very long. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> because 